Welcome, I'm Rosa, and this is Purple Luna Rose Tarot. I'm crossing the line again, falling on my knees. All right, everyone. So today I'm going to do a message from Divine Feminine to Divine Masculine. Um, I was actually getting ready to do love reading for someone in my tribe and was very much drawn to do Divine Masculine to Divine Feminine. Um, I did record that one already. So let's just jump right in and see the energy of both people. So we have the Temple Path for Divine Feminine. And we have Caring Connection coming out for Divine Masculine. So the Temple Path says Divine Feminine is very much on the path she's supposed to be on that her soul chose for this lifetime. Caring Connection coming out for Divine Masculine. I feel like Divine Masculine is just learning about the journey, just learning what it is. Um, collectively, Divine Masculines are very much awakening. And very much remembering who they are. Karen Connection does talk about meeting someone that you're just at first friends. You don't expect it to turn into anything more. Um, but you very quickly realize um, that there's something a lot more to the situation. Alright, so let's clarify a little bit with the Gilded Tarot. So we have the Queen of Cups coming out as a major confirmation as Divine Feminine over here um, with the Temple Path. And then we have Six of Swords coming out for Divine Masculine. Divine Masculine is having to take themselves away. Um, it could be very possible that Divine Feminine is telling Divine Masculine that you have to remove. Remove yourself from the chaos. Remove yourself from the drama. Um, Six of Swords talks about leaving chaos, leaving turbulent water for calmer waters. The moon is sticking out to me in that particular picture also. All right, so I pulled three, three messages from Divine Masculine to Divine Feminine. So we're going to do that again. And this time we're going to do three messages from Divine Feminine to Divine Masculine. What is the message that Divine Feminine needs to say to Divine Masculine? So we have letting go and self-love coming out right away. So I feel like the message from Divine Feminine to Divine Masculine very much telling um, Divine Masculine to let go of something, to release. I do feel like Divine Masculine collectively is releasing and is learning about self-love. So I feel like Divine Feminine is just very much confirming the situation. Let's see what else this Divine Feminine has to say to this Divine Masculine. We have family and tribe. So Divine Feminine is definitely um, trying to help the Divine Masculine gather and learn who their soul tribe is. Could have some information about their family. And they're also trying to tell Divine Masculine to be patient. Alright, I am going to clarify those. And I'm going to use the regular Rider weight. So let's see why letting go and self-love is here. Why is Divine Feminine... Asking this Divine Masculine to release and let go. Um, I feel like the Divine Feminine I'm talking to most likely feels Divine Masculine trying to release, trying to let go. Um, it can be a very heavy, intense energy. Wow, look at this. I just want to say... I just shuffled. These two cards came out for the Divine Masculine to Divine Feminine. So it's almost like I hear you. Wow. Um, but very much about a noticeable victory and very much about a marriage. Um, balancing something out between two people. Bringing something from the 5D down to the 3D. That's a ma massive confirmation. So if you guys did not watch the first video, go back and watch that one also. All right, let's see why this Divine Feminine is telling Divine Masculine about their family. Or about their soul tribe. You guys are not going to believe this. We use the other deck. The emperor was the, also came out. Um, strong Aries. Very much about. Um, in the last card it was about spirit. About God. Um, so definitely could still be the situation here. I've got the goosebumps that these cards are all coming out. Um, different decks guys. It's super weird. Um, but the emperor again strong Aries. The emperor is the most powerful card in tarot. The emperor is very knowledgeable. He can he keeps he has all the knowledge. Um, so to me with family and tribe coming here. Um, I'm getting soul tribe. It could very much be a spiritual situation.
We're also getting Scorpio Death card, which also came out in that reading. It's like these are almost all the same cards. And then we're also getting the Four of Pentacles. I think Four of Pentacles is supposed to go over here on Patience. There's definitely some sort of death and transformation um, with Divine. I feel like Divine Feminine is telling Divine Masculine that something is changing within their family or soul tribe. And it's all part of... Um, like the higher purpose. I'm definitely getting like emperor, like higher self, higher purpose. Patience. I feel like patience four of pinnacles is about holding on to something. And the hermit going within spiritual awakening, looking for answers. Um, I feel like it's very possible divine feminine is telling divine masculine to be patient. Um, that they will find these answers. The hermit, of course, Virgo energy. So Virgo energy is sticking out super strongly. All right, guys, next we did Guidance. So this is going to be Guidance for both Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. I do feel like the message from Divine Feminine is very much that they feel the release. They feel the letting go. It's like they feel like this is becoming official, but they do know that this is a victory. This self-love is a victory. Um, I also feel like there's very there could be very much something happening in a family situation, the death card, very much about something ending, something new beginning. It's about transformation. There could be a transformation with leadership with the emperor also. Um, but very much be patient. Hold on. All right. Now let's see what spirit has to say to these two people. The situation will improve came out. So that's good to see integrity drop the things that offend your soul embrace your truth it's your life let no one live it for you i'm not sure if that's from spirit to divine masculine or and divine feminine um i definitely sense right away that that is the energy from divine feminine to divine masculine i'm going to read it again drop the things that offend your soul embrace your truth it's your life let no one live it for you um, and we have within a few weeks, which very much a timing card. Cycles also came out for the first reading with Divine Masculine to Divine Feminine. Um, it says, we are all becoming surrender to your changes, release your fear, trust the powerful process. We also have It's Up to You. I believe that also came out from Divine Masculine to Divine Feminine in the guidance. And then we have Nature. Sometimes all you need to, is to do is to go outside, breathe the fresh air to remember who you are and where you want to be. Again, sensing that that is from divine feminine to divine masculine. Go outside, take a breath of air, remember who you are. All right, guys, let's end it with a Moonology Oracle. Let's see what more guidance does Spirit have for these two souls. Hold Your Vision also came out in the first one. Communication is key. New moon in Gemini. There's the twins. And a new start is coming. It's the new moon. We did just have a very powerful new moon. Um, so I'm going to leave it right there. I feel like that's perfect. Guys, let me know what you think about this message from Divine Masculine to Divine Feminine um, or message from Divine Feminine to Divine Masculine like this particular reading. Let me know in the comments if it resonates. Please hit the like button, share, um, subscribe, all of those good things. I appreciate all of you guys. Thank you so very much. And I'm sending all of you abundant love and light on your journey.